Hey guys, welcome back to Chili Wowers. We're back at the tower, and today we're going to be looking into more ways to get power, and we're going to build a smeltery so that we can get some steel on the property and some furnaces so that we can cook those up. Also, I've got a whole bunch of chili seeds in my pack that I really want to put down to dirt and get growing up so that we can start getting some actual real chilies growing at Chili Wowers. You'll see I've decorated the gardens out front, so we're going to be able to put on a nice show so when people come to the tower, they can see this is all about chilies, and there's no mistake. If the big chili on the top wasn't a big enough giveaway, well, there's loads of chilies everywhere. They can't make any mistake. So, let's get on with it. Alright, the sun's setting, and I'm here at the reception. Now, I've just realised I don't actually have a reception desk. And when people come to the tower, they're going to need to get pointed in the right direction. So I'm going to need to build a reception desk around here, and, uh, and find a receptionist. And I have a feeling that I reckon I want to use some kind of, maybe a villager or a dog as my receptionist. Now, maybe not a dog, because dogs can't actually speak. And unless I can find a talking dog, well, they're not going to be much use. And villagers don't really speak either, or they don't speak my language. But if there's other villagers that come to visit, maybe the villager can help them out. Right. Well, before we get underway, I'm just going to head up to the top and show you what I've done between now and last episode. Okay, floor one. Ooh, ooh! Okay, we're not going back to that floor anytime soon. Now, it looks like I need more lights in the Chili Wow Tower. Otherwise, we're going to get skeletons and zombies spawning all over the place. Are there any skeletons or dodgy zombies in here? Nope. Ah, but you can see I've, I've set up a chest with a whole bunch of glass. There's some clay here, some gravel, and some sand that I brought over from the farm. And that's going to help me build the smeltery. But I've also redecorated in here. I've hidden the wire a bit. It's behind the wall now a bit. And we've got a big energy cube, and that's basically a big battery, and that stores all of the power that my windmills make. Now I'll go and show you the windmills. We've decorated a bit up here too. Now the entrance to the roof isn't in the floor below, it's instead in the penthouse. And look at this fine, it's not quite mahogany, but it is mahogany chili red. So we go through here, and we've got cables over there, another doorway, out onto the roof, and oh yeah, look at the view from up here. What a killer view. I love it up here. I love looking out at the farm from the top of the Chili Wower Tower. It's nothing better. There's nothing better. Now, as you can see, oh, no, they're not going very quick, but we've got a whole bunch of windmills up there making for us loads and loads of power. But it's not quite going to be enough power. That's enough to keep us going. So when we start making uh, making machines and beginning Chili Wower operations, we're going to have enough power to get going. But in the long run, we're going to need something like a big, big reactor to keep us powered up. Now, I've got a whole bunch of materials here to start making the grout that I need to make a smeltery. Now, I just want a small one because what I really want to make inside it is steel. Because steel is a big thing that we're going to use. We've got a block here and some bars, but we're probably going to need a lot more in the long run because it's integral to making cables. We need it to make our wires. It's really important. So I'm going to take out some of this clay take out some of the gravel, and take out some of the sand, and make some temporary grout over here in the crafting table. Now, what is the recipe for grout? Let's take a look. It is, it's, um, let's press R on that. It's sand, clay, and gravel. Simple enough. So we want to put some sand up there, some gravel in the corner, I think it was, and some gravel down there. Bam! What? Whoa! So now we've got two stacks of 64. Now I'm going to need a little bit more, I think. So I'll put in some clay up top, some gravel back in, and use the last stack of sand. Bam! So now we've got four stacks of grout. Now to make this into the bricks we need, we're going to have to put it inside a furnace. And we're going to need a bunch of furnaces up here because I want to use the power that we've got to power some furnaces instead of wasting coal. Because you shouldn't burn fossil fuels whenever you can use alternative and green energy. So what we want to do is we want to find ourselves a way of getting a redstone furnace. Now let's see what the mechanism furnace is. At mech. And now if we hover over here, one of these should be like a furnace. There we go, an energized smelter. That looks like just the trick. And hey presto, we've got enough for two energized smelters. Oh yeah, now let's plop these down. 
and get them cooking. Bam, one, and bam, two. Now let's see, have they got power? I think so, I hope so. Oh, I can hear the, hear the wind whistling, and that's definitely the windmills up in action. So now I'm gonna put some grout in here. Oh, and there it goes, it's smelting the grout, and hopefully this should become some seared bricks. Now I hope that's what happens, let's find out. Yeah, that's exactly what happens, sweet. So we're gonna get these cooking up all the grout, and while they're doing that, it's time to go below and prepare our chili gardens. Now what I wanna do is make myself a hoe first, because I'm gonna need a hoe to hoe down the ground. And why not splash out on a nice fancy new iron hoe? Oh yeah, fantastic. Now I've got 22 seeds here, but I'm sure if I go back over to the farm, I can find some more. And while those energized smelters are cooking, if you watch them, they're much quicker than normal furnaces, so that's gonna be done ASAP. Let's head down to the chili gardens be careful of the skeletons. Woo! And now we're on the ground floor. Let's hope there's no skeletons out here, actually. Oh no, it looks clean. Right, so let's get let's get a hoe in. Oh no, 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 wait. Hang on a sec. There's no water out here. So if we hoe this down, it's not gonna keep the chilies from keep the chilies growing. So I'm gonna need to go and get myself a bucket as well, get some water, and probably some more seeds. So that's a perfect excuse to head over to the farm, of course. Pick up as many chili seeds as I can. Uh oh, if I can get there without getting wasted by a spider. And then I'll get back here with some seeds and start planting some chilies. Oh, just gonna waste the spider with my spells. Oh yeah, it really comes in really handy being a powerful wizard sometimes. Here I come. Oh yeah, you're no match for me, creeper. Eat powerful spells. All right, so I've returned. Now what did I need? I needed a bucket or some buckets, some water, now, fingers crossed, there's some buckets in these vanilla chests. Well, there's one for starters. And, oh, I'm definitely going to grab the watering can because, hey, once we've got the chilies down and once we put water near them, they're going to need... I'll take some bone meal too because that'll come in handy as well. Oh, what? Oh, no, they're... Tr whoa, 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 check this out, guys. Oh, my God. In the magical crops chest, I have, like, one... Two, three, four, five stacks of chili seeds. Wow, that's plenty. That's way more than we're ever gonna need. So I'm just gonna grab some of those. Because I set my teleport, I can just use my teleport spell to get right back there. Here we go. You ready? Whoosh! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, I've died, no! Oh, it's okay. My spawn is right near the farm, so I can just come back and grab my grave. No worries. Oh, there we go, all my stuff back in my pack. Right now, I reckon I've got plenty of chili seeds to start putting down plants even outside the front. Oh yeah, now these are gonna look great when they start growing. Oh man, I just can't wait to see all these chilies outside the front of the uh, outside the front of the office. This is gonna look so cool. Right, so that's the front gardens taken care of, but we still need to fill up these big greenhouses with loads and loads of chili. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bucket full of water and start putting down some places for us to grow chilies. Right, so now it's time to start hoeing the ground just like a real farmer and putting down some chilies. All right, partners, let's get your hose out and get farming. Now this is one of the, my favorite parts about farming. It's a really dumb thing to really enjoy. But I love the way that when you just right click on dirt, it turns from that rubbish, muddy texture to this really awesome and obvious tilled earth. And that's just uh, the greatest thing. There we go. Now it's time to start plowing down the chili seeds. Oh, yeah. Down it goes. Oh, now let's just weave back around. Oh, now this is looking fantastic. Oh, no. Why is it? Why are they not growing here? Oh, there's not enough light. It's because we're caught underneath the shelf. I'm gonna need to get some glowstone and put that right in the middle to give to give us enough light to grow chilies. Now, it's just those blocks over here that won't grow. So what I could do is I could make that a feature and I could put some blocks over here as like shelves or, or places to store chilies that we've grown. So I'll leave it for the time being and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat what we've done over here in the greenhouse opposite, but I won't do that now because we've already seen how it's done. Instead, let's go up and check on the grout that we've got cooking away in our furnace. 
Oh, it's a spider! Get him! Ah! Whew! Oh my god. That was scary. Right, okay, okay, okay. So let's check on the ground. How much has been made? Oh yeah, 64 seared bricks here. And I reckon, yeah, there we go. 64 in there as well. So I'll just plonk the remaining grout inside these furnaces because it ain't used for anything else. Now a smeltery is an important, it's, it's, it's a multi-block structure that's part of the Tinker's Construct mod pack. What we're going to need is a seared tank that's going to have lava, which is the fuel for the furnace. That's what cooks the ore and turns it into molten metal. We're going to need a controller that decides how and where to put blocks into the furnace. It's just a, just a block we need. It doesn't, we don't need to worry about it too much. And then we're going to need a drain to drain out the fluid, a casting basin to keep the fluid in, a tap to obviously pour it out, and seared bricks all around the edge just to make sure the whole thing is nice and uh, and safe. Because obviously when you're dealing with molten metal, you can quite easily set fire to things because it's very, very hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the seared bricks out. And we need to put down a pattern of nine on the floor. Is that nine? Yeah, that's nine blocks on the floor. Whoopsie daisy. And what you've basically got to build is kind of like uh, a large basin for you to cook all your metals in. And it only has to be one block high to start with, so we don't need to worry too much about wasting all these seared bricks. Now around the front we're going to need a controller and a tank, so let's just build a couple of those. We'll need a tank, which is just glass surrounded by bricks, and we will need a controller. Where are you, my friend? There it is, and a controller is just a donut of seared bricks. We've got plenty of those, so let's just put down one controller. Oh, wh whoops, that's steel. It looks, so it looks so close to seared bricks. Now, the rest of our seared bricks, of course, are over here. Now, these aren't quite all made, so I hope we've got enough to finish our smeltery. I think we should have enough. Now, it doesn't matter where you put the tank or the controller, as so long as they're both part of this big donut basin shape. And we'll need one more seared bricks right there to complete... Oh, and you can see when the, when the, yep, the smeltery controller starts to flame, that's when your smeltery is complete. So I'll just put down... Some more seared bricks around the edge. There we go. Just to finish up. Perfect. Now I'm going to have to break one of these to make a pouring out station so that we can actually collect some of the steel that we make inside this thing. Now I want plenty of drains. So I'm going to put three drains here with three taps and three basins, if we can afford it. Which I think we can because we're making a lot of seared bricks. There we go, 32 more seared bricks. So what do we need? We need drains. Now what is a drain? That's a drain. And we're gonna need one, two, three of those. Bam, bam, bam. Now we're gonna need at least one basin. We probably haven't got enough for more than, more than one at the moment. We're gonna need a tap. And I think that's everything. Right, okay. This is really exciting, okay. So let's put down the three drains. Oh yeah, we're about to make some molten metal, guys. There we go. And a, a tap on the drain. It's really hard to see because these blocks are so dark. But my brightness is up, I do promise you. Bam! Oh, yeah. And now let's get something smelting just to kind of get making some steel. Now I'm just going to quickly go and get some lava to power the smeltery. But I'm also going to see if I can go and find some iron and some manganese so that we can start making some real steel. Right, so we're back on the farm now. What do we need? We're going to need some iron, which we've got loads of. We can get that smelted up. We're also going to need some manganese. So let's see if we've got any manganese ore inside these chests. Hey, what's that? That looks it. Yep, there's eight manganese ore. Now, that's not really that many, but you, when you're making alloys inside an alloy smeltery, you don't always need the same amount of, um, of metals. And while I'm running back, I'll explain exactly how we make steel inside a smeltery. Right, so steel is one of the very important things that we're going to need as we progress through our Feed the World 2 adventure in the Chili Wower Tower. And to make steel, we need to combine manganese with iron. And that 
com creates steel. The steel is an alloy, which means several metals together. So we need to put those two metals into the smeltery together and they will become steel. Oh, now if you listen sometimes, you can hear through the wall some lava, and I can definitely hear some lava around here. So I'm just going to dig out in a big circle and see if I can find it. Oh, there it is! Oh, uh-oh, 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 oh! I don't want to die, I don't want to die! Ah! Okay, get some, get some cobblestone. Oh! Okay, I think I've blocked it off. Okay, I should be safe now. So let's just dig around this and see if we can find a way up. To where this lava begins. Oh, now there's some osmium. Osmium's going to come come in super handy. I haven't collected it previously because I don't really need it on the farm, but now that we need it at Chili Wowers, I'm going to make sure I can get all that I can find. Okay, it sounds like the lava's through this way. Oh, it's still there. There we go. So let's just keep digging upwards. Onwards and upwards, my friends. Whoa! Oh no! The taint! I found a tainted lava cave! What does that even mean? Is this, is this, is this lava going to be okay? I think it should be. If I'm very, very careful, I shouldn't have too many problems. Five buckets of lava should be plenty. So let's just grab the lava. Two, three, four, five. Oh, and six, of course, because the, the spot where we had a bucket becomes a bucket of lava as well. Right, now, luckily enough, my teleport spell is still back at Chili Wowers, so we don't need to worry at all about going all the way back there. Oh, oh, there's some osmium here. Oh, yeah. And right now, it's time to get back to base. Bam! And start growing some chilies and building our smeltery. Okay, yeah, let's smelt up some steel. So I'll get this in place. Let's see, I'll put some lava in the, in there. Now we've got way too many buckets, but you can never actually have too many buckets. All this really means is we've got plenty of fuel. Right, sweet, so we've got our smeltery. It's all up and running, we've got a controller and a seared tank. So let's get some ores in there. Now to make steel, like I said before, you need some iron and some manganese. Now we've got manganese ore, but we don't have iron ore. We've just got iron bars, but that's fine. That's totally fine. That works as well. So we'll put those iron bars in there as well. Oh yeah, there we go. So this episode, what we've basically done is we've got all the power up and running in the Chili Wower Tower. We've put down our chili seeds, or at least half of them. Between this and next episode, I'll fill out this room, the second greenhouse. Uh oh, spiders in the spiders in the building. Oh! Oh, there he is! Between this and next episode, I'll fill up this greenhouse so we've got plenty of chilies in here. And, uh, and I'll make sure that our smeltery is a little bit taller and we can smelt all the things we need inside there. But I've been Stjint and this has been episode 3 of Chili Wowers. Now next episode, I really want to build something else cool. I had a lot of fun building the Chili Wower Tower. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to start building the Chili Production Facility because this is just an office building. It's gonna hold all the important things we need to do Minecraft in, but what it doesn't have are the chili processing plants. We're gonna find a way to get vast chili farms to actually harvesting them, and we're gonna put them through the chili processing plant to get them into some foods. So until next time, guys, I've been Stjin. Hit like and favorite and subscribe, and take care.